If you're in trouble and you need someone to help you out, there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout. Hey, 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 help is on its way. Call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers. If ever things go wrong and don't work out the way you planned, there's no need to worry, they'll always lend a helping hand. Hey, 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 help is on its way. It's the Koala Brothers. Frank, Buster, you've got to help me. Sure, we're here to help. Call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, help is on its way. Christmas is supposed to be a happy time, a time for friends to be together. But for one little penguin, Christmas wasn't looking very happy at all. Penny the little penguin had hurt her wing, and now she had to do something that made her feel sad. writing to the Koala Brothers to tell them that she wouldn't be coming to the Outback for Christmas. Christmas just wouldn't be the same without Frank and Buster. It looked like Penny was going to spend Christmas all alone. Unless someone, somewhere, could help. Always the busiest time of year for everyone in the outback. Aww. It was such an exciting time for everyone. This year was going to be the most special Christmas ever. Everyone, we've got an important announcement to make, haven't we, Buster? That's right, Frank. <clears throat> We'd like to invite you all to the homestead for a Christmas Day celebration. <laughs> and don't forget, everyone, Penny the Penguin is coming all the way from the South Pole. Oh, oh, yes, I I call call what a treat. Hey, Frank, there's someone missing. You're right, Buster. Where's George? I think he's in his post office. Ooh. Morning, Morning George. George. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Frank. Morning, Buster. We were wondering. Oh. Hmm? Position open. Um, we haven't come to give you any letters, George. You haven't? 
No, we've come to... <clears throat> so, what can I do for you? We've come to invite you to celebrate Christmas Day at the homestead, George. Oh, well, thanks, fellas. I'd love to come. Are you sure you're going to get all this done in time, George? Sure. It's the same every Christmas. Amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it. Aha! First delivery of the day. Thanks, George. Hmm. I wonder who it's from. It's from Penny. She'll be writing to tell us when she's going to arrive. Ah. Oh. Oh. What does it say, Buster? Dear Frank and Buster, Thank you both for inviting me to stay with you for Christmas. I've been looking forward to it for months. Oh. Oh. That's why it's so hard to tell you that because I've hurt my wing, I won't be able to come. Love, Penny. Oh, oh dear. Oh, deary dear. Christmas is all about being together with those you love. But without Penny, this Christmas just wouldn't be complete. I'll, uh... I'll put the kettle on. Far away at the South Pole, Penny was trying her hardest to get into the Christmas spirit. Hey, Buster, our new Christmas decorations look fantastic. Buster? I've never seen Buster so down. He's downer than the downest thing. Downer. Rock! <gasps> oh. Don't worry, Frank. I've had an idea. Um, what are you doing, Buster? Well, if Penny can't come to us, then we'll have to go and fetch her. What? Fetch Penny from the South Pole? Sure, Frank. It makes perfect sense. But, Buster, we don't know the way. And we've never flown that far before. We don't even know if we'd have enough fuel to make the journey. Besides, it'll take us too long. We're needed here to put up the decorations and prepare for Christmas Day. But it won't be a proper Christmas without Penny. <sighs> I'm gonna miss her too, Buster. But we can't go. It's just too far. But I was really looking forward to Penny being with us for Christmas, Frank. I've got the spare room ready and everything. Buster, big day tomorrow, eh? Christmas Eve, decorating the homestead. Penny'd be on her way now if she hadn't hurt her wing. Doesn't seem right us celebrating Christmas while she's in the South Pole on her own. Night, night, Frank. Night, Buster. <laughs> Deep down, Frank knew Buster was right. But the South Pole... Could they possibly fly that far? Right. Wakey, wakey, Buster! What? Oh, what time is it, Frank? 
time you were up. We're gonna have to make an early start if we're gonna get to the South Pole and back. Huh? Did you say the South Pole? That's right. We're going to fetch Penny. Oh, Frank. <laughs> Did you hear that, Penny? We're coming to get you at the South Pole all the way from the Outback. Hurry up, Buster. We need to get to the South Pole and back as quickly as possible. We don't want to be late for Christmas. Look what I found. This should keep me warm and toasty. That's right. It's cold enough to freeze your ears off at the South Pole, isn't it, Frank? Is it? Um, I mean, oh, yeah. Uh, well, I've heard it's a bit chilly. <sighs> hey, look. <laughs> Morning, Sammy. Archie. Morning. <laughs> we heard about your big trip. South Pole, eh? Yep, it may be a big trip, but it'll be worth it to bring Penny back for Christmas. Here you go, chaps. Uh, we won't have time to play tennis at the South Pole, Archie. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. These are to put on your feet so you can walk in the snow. <laughs> I hear you can sink right up to your ears in the snow. <gasps> Maybe disappear altogether. <laughs> Here. I bought you a map of the South Pole for when you get lost. Ah, oh, thanks. All right, Frank. Oh, uh, hi, George. Uh, yeah, um, I was just thinking. We've, well, we've never been on a journey this far before. I hope it'll be all right. If there's one thing that's certain, Frank, it's that you're the fella for the job. You're the best pilot I know. Yeah, uh, I'm the only pilot you know, George. Yeah, well, I was just trying to make you feel better. But I do have a bit of advice, something a good friend once told me. Never be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Ah, oh, thanks. I'll remember that. Uh, who gave you that advice, George? You did, Frank. <laughs> you did. Oh. <laughs> Now, while we're away, you and Ned are in charge, Mitzi. What? Of the whole homestead? That's right. You'll have to work together as a team. We're both counting on you. Well, you can rely on us, can't they, Ned? Uh, yeah. Of course they can. Great. Mm. Right then. Stand by. Standing by. Shocks away, Buster. Shocks away, Frank. Get the gate, Ned. I'm getting the gate, Frank. Buckle up, Buster. Buckle up. So that morning, the Koala Brothers set off into the bright blue sky on the biggest adventure of their lives. To bring their friend Penny back home for Christmas. OK, Buster, which way do we head? I'll check the map. <laughs> Come on, Buster, which way to the South Pole? Just go south for a bit. Right. That way, Frank. OK. This way. At least we got nice weather for it. Which way now? Keep going south. No, the other south, Frank. Right, Ned. No sense in hanging around. We've got lots to do. That's right. We're in charge. Yeah. So I think we should each do what we're best at. Sounds like a good idea to me, Mitzi. So I'll do all the organising and you can do the other stuff. Other stuff? Uh, Frank and Buster said we should work together. It doesn't take two of us to sweep the yard, Ned. Mm. Oh, but I'm in charge too. We're supposed to be a team. I can see the sea. It looks so blue. 
It's getting colder, Buster. That's a good sign, Frank. We must be going the right way. Yeah. Uh, could you pass me a drink? That'll warm me up. Oh, thanks, Buster. Ugh. I thought you were going to put a hot drink in the flask. That's what it's for. But it's lemonade, Frank, with lots of ice. Just how you like it. <laughs> mm. It all looks the same down there. What does it say on the map? Right. Yes, the map. Um, let's see now. Well, uh, just keep going south for a bit. But which way is south? <laughs> More lemonade? You have got the map, haven't you, Buster? Um, no. <laughs> Under the circumstances, Frank took the news about the map quite well. Sorry, Frank. As Frank and Buster approached the South Pole, their journey was getting more hazardous by the minute. I've never felt rain so cold and wet, Frank! Whoa! Meanwhile, back at the homestead, Ned really wanted to find something important to do. Something he could be in charge of. Uh, Mitzi? Um, how about I be in charge of putting up the decorations? I haven't got you on my list for that, Ned. But Frank always lets me help with the decorations, and he said we were both in charge. Oh, all right, Ned. You can be in charge of the decorations. Oh, thanks, Mitzi. After you've cleaned the windows. Oh. We've got to find land soon, Buster. The plane's not used to this sort of weather, and neither am I. Look, Frank, straight ahead. Oh. Frank? Frank? <clears throat> Buster? Frank? Buster! We are here! The South Pole. It goes on for miles and miles and miles. But it was them. Honestly, I heard them talking. Frank and Buster. Sounded like they needed help. In the cupboard, you say? That's right, George. Hmm, maybe you just thought you heard them because you're worried about them, Mr. Ned. Good point, Archie. Hmm, suppose so. Hi, Archie. Hi, George. Ready to put up the decorations, then? We're raring to go. But you said I was in charge of the decorations, Mitzi. You are. Sammy delivered three boxes yesterday, remember? That's one box each. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, I say, look at this. An inflatable snowman. 
Ooh, let's have a little look-see. The Christmas lights. I'm a bit of a dad hand at these. Ooh, lanterns. Look, this is nice, eh? Ah, oh, what a lovely little tree, Mr. Ned. Oh, well, better get started. Good idea, Archie. Yes, I'm going to have fun with this snowman. The place is going to look great by the time. Ah, oh, ah. Ha! Oh, oh, this really gets you into the festive spirit, doesn't it, Mr. Ned? Suppose so. Need any help, George? No, but that's okay, Ned. I've got it all in hand. Oh. Hey, Ned, when Sammy comes with the Christmas groceries, could you show him to the kitchen? Oh, and Josie and Alice will be coming soon. They're helping out with the food. Uh, Mitzi, so what are you doing? Organising, of course. Ah, oh. ah, oh, these are nice. Hmm, looks like the old radio got jammed when we came down, Buster. I'll have to fix it when we get back. Oh. Do you know, Frank, this place reminds me of the outback. Only whiter and chillier. And quieter and colder, and there's no trees. Yeah, and, uh, I get the picture, Buster. Oh, no wonder Penny loves to come to the homestead. This place is deserted. How are we going to find her, Frank? Hmm, well, I think we're going to have to continue on foot. Good job we've got these, then. Hey, Frank, look at me. Archie was right. They're perfect for the snow. Uh, yeah, they look great, Buster. Are you coming down, then, Frank? Yeah, sure. Oh! <laughs> Look at you, Frank. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, bit uh, tricky. <laughs> better get your snowshoes on, Frank. Good idea. Then we'd better try and find Penny, wherever she might be. It's hard work, isn't it? I'm walking the South Pole with my brother Frank. And I've got tennis rackets on my feet. OK, Frank. No worries. Come on, Frank. I am trying. I wish we still had the map. I said I was sorry, Frank. I know, Buster. I know. Do you think it's much further? No, no idea. No, keep coming. No. I think you're getting better at it, Frank. Well, Buster, we are lost. We've got to keep going, Frank. We've got to find Penny. Uh. 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 Hmm? Huh? Buster, I think we are being watched. Are you sure, Frank? All I can see is snow. Yeah, I'm sure. I think you're seeing things. Wah! What's he doing, Buster? <laughs> I don't think he's seen a koala before, Frank. <laughs> Never mind, too. Right, then. <clears throat> Hello there. We have come from far, far away. Australia. <laughs> hey, Frank, ask him if he knows where Penny lives. Uh, yes. Well, um, we've come to find our friend Penny the Penguin. Do you know her? Um, she's got a hurt wing and she walks like this. <laughs> Maybe I should just show him a photo. Good idea. You mean you've got a photograph of Penny? Why didn't you say so? You didn't ask. Hey, Frank, I think he knows where she is. Oh. Yes. So, 
For the first time since they landed in the South Pole, Frank and Buster thought they were getting somewhere. All thanks to their new friend. Right behind you, Frank. I wish Frank and Buster were here. They always let me help out. I'm sure I heard them in the cupboard. They really did sound like they were in trouble. Oh, coming along nicely, George. Oh, uh, thank you. All we've got to do now is connect them all together so they'll all come on with the flick of a switch. Oh, Frank and Buster are going to be in for a treat when they get back with Penny. Ahem. <coughs> Especially when they see my inflatable snowman. Wow! And if you twist this bulb, <laughs> his nose flashes on and off. <laughs> oh, it keeps popping off. <laughs> of course, it'll look a lot better in the dark. Come on, Josie. Let's get started. I'm right behind you, Alice. Ah. Oh, good day. <sighs> Frank? Buster? Can you hear me? It's me, Ned. I, I really hope you're safe and everything. Um, well, it all seems to be going well here. Mitzi's been great at organising and, and everyone's helping out. I've uh, swept the yard and stuff. Not actually been in charge, but hey. Oh, well. You be careful, eh? Get back safely. Ooh. So that's how I heard Frank and Buster. It's some kind of radio. <laughs> ah. Wow. Look at this, Frank. Yeah. Hello! <gasps> Frank, I think this is it. Penny's snow hut. Well, uh, there's only one way to find out, Buster. Go on, then. Right. <gasps> Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny, we couldn't spend Christmas without you. We're taking you back to the homestead. Hello, Penny. <laughs> Ow! Watch your head, Frank. It wasn't long before Frank and Buster were warming up with mugs of hot chocolate. Yummy. Well, I must say, Penny, your house is really warming me up. Yeah, it's really cosy. Oh, we forgot to ask. How's your wing, Penny? Oh, you poor thing. I can't wait for you to see the homestead, Penny. All the decorations and everything. We've got all your favourite food from Sammy's store, and everyone will be there. Mitzi, Ned, everyone. It's going to be really good. Oh, I'm so pleased we found you, Penny. We wouldn't have had a great time without you. We couldn't have. It wouldn't have been the same. That's why we'd better be going. We need to be back at the homestead before it gets dark. Oh, but we've just got here, Frank. Can't we stay a bit longer? I'm sorry, Buster. We just don't have the time. Ah, well, better get packing, Penny. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Back at the homestead, things were really taking shape. Left a bit. Now right. Look what I found, Mitzi. It's how I heard Frank... Tell me later, Ned. I'm busy. Right, Archie. Right. Oh. Oh, never mind. Just pop it back in. All right. Raise it now. 
Right then, Frank. Which way is the plane? Oh, right. Ah, uh, now, let me see. We came from over there and turned left. No, no, right. Near a, a white hill. Um, uh, I haven't got a clue, Buster. Ah, uh, oh, but I know who might. Hey, hey, over here! Hello, little penguin. Can you show us the way back to our plane? Uh, plane. <laughs> hey, we're on our way. <laughs> hey, look, Frank. <laughs> You're going to ski to the plane. Uh, 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 uh I am? Uh... Say something. <coughs> uh, <coughs> fine. I'm fine. Mm. That was some jump, Frank. Well, <laughs> uh, as you said, Buster, it's uh, easier than it looks. <laughs> so. Despite Frank's problems with the skis, they eventually found their way back to the plane, thanks to the little penguin. But they still needed to dig it out of the snow. It's a shame you forgot to pack the shovel, Frank. Yes, it's a shame we did, Buster. Hmm, this could be tricky. Hmm. Oh. Are you all right? I think you've just found the answer. We can use the skis. Frank, you're a uh, genius. Thanks, Buster. Uh, 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 uh. Back at the homestead, Ned really wished he had Frank with him to show him how to use the radio. Headphones? Right. Um, next, press the button. Oh! Ooh. Ow! <sighs> <sighs> Must be the other button. Where are they? They should be here by now. It won't be long before it gets dark. Oh, hey, look what I found. A map? It's only the one I gave Frank and Buster. They must have dropped it. How are they going to find their way home? Mm. Oh, I don't know. At last, the plane was free, and Frank and Buster could take Penny back to the homestead. All right, Frank. The light's fading fast, Buster. I'm worried we won't get back before dark. Oh, we better say our goodbyes then. Well, thanks for all the help. Yeah, thanks, little fella. Well, come on, Buster, Penny. We'd really better be going. Um, uh, Frank? Hmm? Oh. Uh, um, bye, little fella. Oh, come here. Mm, we'll come back and see you soon. That's a promise. Hey, Frank, say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> There you go, Penny. All right, Frank? Yeah. Right. 
To the homestead, Buster. To the homestead, Frank. So, as the three intrepid adventurers set off, the final part of their amazing journey was about to unfold. Hey, these are really nice. What one, Frank? All I want is a map. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> It tickles. Hey, Frank! Penny's got a map! What? That's great. Uh, uh can you hand it over? Yeah. Right then. This should get us back on track. Control. Can you hear me, Frank and Buster? Over. Why is he saying over? It's what you say on the radio. Oh. Uh, did you just hear me? This is Ned. Can you hear me? Over. Ah, oh, Ned must have found the old radio. Ned, it's me, Frank. <laughs> We're on our way home with Penny. Gonna have to perform a night landing. Over. A night landing? Are you sure, Frank? I'm sure, Ned. I'm going to ask you to do something really important. What's that, Frank? Somehow, you're going to have to guide us in. Oh. Over. Oh. Ned, oh. are you still there? Ned? We've lost him, Frank. S sorry, Frank. I'm here. Oh. We really need you to do this, Ned. We really need your help. You're in charge. You're in charge. You're in charge. You're in charge. <laughs> I won't let you down, Frank. Over. All right, everyone. We're all going to have to help Frank land. Uh, could you all please stand in the yard and listen out for the plane? Right ho, Mr. Ned. Right. 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 Can't see a thing. It's too dark. We're going to take a closer look, Ned. Can't see anything yet, Frank. Whoa! Hey, Frank! These are gum leaves. We must be in Australia. <laughs> Great! Did you hear that, Ned? Loud and Still not back yet? They're on their way, but they're gonna have to find the homestead in the dark. Oh, oh dear. Frank, everyone's in position. They're listening out for you. Right, Ned. We'll fly as low as we can. Ned, Ned, look at the front. Listen, can you hear something? <gasps> it's them! I know it's them! Ned, where are you? Are you there? Over! Hooray! <laughs> Frank! Oh, we thought we lost you! You're flying right overhead! Well, we can't 
see a thing, Ned. It's as black as ink down there. Well, what are we going to do, Ned? If only we could shine a big, bright light up at them. A light? <gasps> Archie, George, are the Christmas decorations already? Is that all you can think about at a time like this, Ned? The decorations? Are they ready? Well, they're, they're all connected. And ready to go. Mitzi, run to the homestead and switch them on. Oh, yeah. Good one, Ned. Must be a loose bowl. We'll have to try them all. See which one's wobbly. Hurry! Oh no, we're nearly out of fuel. What? We're going to have to make an emergency landing. But where, Frank? I can't see a thing. Well, just get it right like that. Okay, Mitzi. Flick the switch! Oh. 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 Hurry, Ned. We're running out of fuel. We're hurrying, Frank. Over. Any luck, George? This could take all night, Ned. But we haven't got all night. Sorry, Frank. I'm trying my hardest. I really am. But I don't know what else to do. Ah! Oh. Archie, your snowman! Where's its nose? Oh, Mr. Ned! It must have popped out! Mitzi, flake the switch! Okay, I'm going to have to guess. Frank, look! I can see it! <laughs> we can see you, Ned. We're coming in to land. Welcome home, everyone! Uh, uh, uh. Well done, Ned. We couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, Ned. A born leader, Mr. Ned. <laughs> well, I'm here to help. <clears throat> well, uh, great to see everybody here, and welcome to the Outback, Penny. Welcome to the Outback. You've all done a marvellous job while we were away. Yeah. Thanks, George and Archie, for putting up the lights. <laughs> and thanks, Josie and Alice, for the lovely food. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and Sammy for delivering it. Oh, it's all part of the service. And I hear Mitzi had you all running around. <laughs> Thanks, Mitzi. Oh, it was nothing, guys. And as for you, Ned, well, oh. what can we say? You were brilliant. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be sitting here today. That's so true. So it's down to everyone helping that we're all celebrating Christmas together. Well said, Buster.
And Merry Christmas, Penny. Merry Christmas to you all. The best friends two koala brothers could ever have. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So, with everyone together at the homestead, the Koala Brothers had the most wonderful Outback Christmas ever. Merry Christmas! Yay!